Okay, so take us through basically what you're doing. It's a billion dollars, a couple of plants out there. Tell us why you're investing in those plants and what you're going to do with them. Yeah, we're so excited. A billion dollar investment in Chicago assembly and stamping plants to produce an all new Ford Explorer, which you can see different variants behind me. We're going to have a performance variant, the ST. We're going to have the police interceptor utility, which really excited about, and a hybrid Explorer for the first time, and the Lincoln Aviator. So a billion dollars, 500 new jobs that come with that, but really restructuring the business in a way that allows us to continue to invest here in America. So, Joe, give us a sense of your overall operation. I believe uh, that you are the largest producer of automobiles in the United States itself. Uh, is this additive or is this replacing some other places where you ma manufacture things now? Yeah, sure. We are proud that we build more vehicles in the U.S. than anybody else. We employ more manufacturing workers in our plants than anybody else in the U.S. auto industry, and we export more. So we're really truly invested here and committed to American manufacturing. This plant continues to build the Explorer. It made the previous generation going to make the new variation, but also the Aviator is a new product. But it is part of our SUV expansion going on over the next couple of years, and continuing to invest where customers are going, which is in SUVs here in the U.S. market. So does that mean that the, the 500 jobs you're creating there will not come from someplace else in the United States or elsewhere around the world for that matter? That's right. So these jobs are incremental and new to the community here. We've done most of the hiring already. We're still finishing that up. Um, and these are incremental because of the new content, the adding the aviator to the plant and to the new vehicle like the hybrid. Uh, put it into a larger uh, context for us about the overall strategy of Ford. I, I know that, you, like all automotive makers right now, you're having to retool for electrification, for about autonomy, mobility in general. Sure. How does this fit into the overall plan that you have for Ford of the future? Yes, when you look at Ford, we've been committed to growing our SUV and our truck business as well as our utility and van business. And when you, this is just a reinforcement of that. So the best-selling SUV ever in America, the Explorer, comes now with a hybrid. So you're seeing electrification start to make its way into the lineup. You're seeing that growth in the industry. And for us, it's reinvesting in our great products. So we're going to have 75% of our SUV and truck portfolio all new by end of next year, including some new exciting products. Um, and it's just going where the customers are going. That's where the customers in the U.S. are going here. And also around the world, frankly. It's where the customers are going. At the same time, you have to generate some cash in order to invest in these new ventures such as electrification and autonomy. Uh, Jim Hackett, whom you know, work with out there, has said he's going to have an $11 billion restructuring plan. And I talked to him out at the Detroit, the National, uh, the sure. Detroit Auto Show, uh, and he said that he had not been too pleased with Ford. Listen to what he said to me. I want to tell you, I'm not happy about Ford's performance in that year. I mean, that should just be said. So how does what you're doing out in Chicago right now and the overall restructuring, how's it going to make Jim Hackett happier? <laughs> well, we obviously want to make Jim happy and all of our shareholders happy as well. I mean, just this Explorer is a great vehicle and very important to our product line. So this will make our shareholders happy when we get the new vehicle out, I can assure you, along with that new aviator for Lincoln. But it really comes back to making sure we have a competitive operating environment here in North America. That's why we're encouraging the government to pass the USMCA so we have certainty for the trade block that is North America for the automotive industry as a leading exporter ourselves. And it gets back to what Jim was talking about at the auto show and elsewhere, which is we've got to compete, work on our fitness, our competitiveness, and have great new products. And all, with all these products coming in the next couple of years, we're really excited about that. And some of it clearly is from focus. I mean, you've mentioned several times how important SUVs are to you. Certainly the F-150, the, the Ford pickup trucks is terribly important to you. And you've sort of said you're going to go largely out of passenger vehicles when the time is right and you've got some sort of vehicles. Uh, you, we've heard that you're going to cut that back in Europe. Where are you going to be cutting back and where are you going to be adding? Well, we are restructuring our business in Europe. We're in the consultation process with our works councils and our, and our union and government partners in, in Europe and really want to focus on the commercial vehicle business where we, where we have good profits and where it's a strong business for Ford. Obviously, some of our other products will have to, over time, fade away, but we're going to reinvest in the business, too, in areas where we have strengths. That's true in, in South America, it's true in Europe, and true in other parts of the world as well. The $11 billion restructuring you referenced earlier, that will be focused mostly on markets outside of the U.S. and North America, where we need to do some of that restructuring. So uh, give us a peek here, Joe, if you would. Uh, are there other places around the country we might be able to expect something similar to what you're doing in Chicago? Are you done yet? 
Well, we're not finished. We have some more news to share this year. We can't share that yet, um, and a lot more next year as well. As we continue to invest in new products, you're going to see, again, 75% of our SUV and truck and, and van lineup freshened or all new in the next 18 to 24 months. So we're really excited about that. So more to come there. But again, our commitment to making vehicles in America continues and like this investment here of a billion dollars in Chicago.